This is chapter two of The Broken Word, dinner number one. Um, it describes an attack by servants on two uh, landowners, English landowners in Kenya in the 50s. Frank was dead and he was very tired. Frank was dead, dishevelled in his chair, one ear falling away, nose tip and lower lip gone, dress shirt dyed plum. Even through the thumps and flashes of his own attack, Charles had heard with peculiarly greater concern the chit-chit of panga blades into Frank's back before the servants had retreated. Frank was dead and Charles was exhausted. He had crawled up all the stairs, the slow successive risers, gripping their tops, pushing them down, the last few almost too tall to scale to get to the shotgun under the bed. It felt as if his fringe kept coming loose, but it was wide drips of blood that fell everywhere. His hands were syrupy with it, also the two pieces of gun that wouldn't shut together. That catch, he couldn't, it needed a fingertip that was gone. He had a terrible headache. Its massive pulse seemed outside of him, one of them shaking the room. Also the world had strangely blued with a wizening rim. He swiveled in his leakage, and lay forwards holding the two parts together in a straight line towards the door.